crack running around the top edge of the skirting board here just to where it meets the stringer on the staircase fades off you need to have a look natural thing for anybody to do is to whip out the cork and go straight along this surface this crack it's there for a reason you can't just cork straight over that get a movement hollow I can just hear the ring of it so just take a look at this that's that's quite tight there that's pretty good what I have done here is just opened it up a little bit so I'm going to do exactly the same here where it feels tight problem is not that way that still feels nice and tight but I'm going to keep going just this area and that's where the problem is just down there I like this one tight well, that's where the crack is so all that's tending to happen is the movement is creating this crack to form constantly so I'll remove it removed any loose and opened up that crack there now and this bit here opened up a little bit more and you can just see the stringer how it runs into the skirting where the wood ends there and we've got brickwork and plaster behind now when these are constructed these older houses skirting board would have been in place before this plaster went on the plastering is done after now then the timber work won't be painted and the plaster will sit on top of this and over time it starts to crack looks like this has been a repair here because that's nice bright filler and as we come along we come back to the old plaster and a bit of a gap there so that's running back to the brickwork and then down there we have the bit of a gap so when all this degrades at the background it crumbles away and we're left with all this and if you come along and put your cork over the top of that it's not going to do anything because this a little bit of movement and vibration goes on here same there so I've raked that out and we can see how they've done this so that gap is down there and this piece of skirting is floating as in moving okay so I can get some foam down there and all around the backs of here and for the likes of this just with the back of the blade I can push that filler out it's only sitting on the surface so be 
behind there's a great big void. So that's all I'm going to take out. Because you have the carpet down here. I can leave that in. This I can tackle from behind. Start by wetting in. So I remember with this piece of skirting board, what they've done is put this this bit of skirting board on first, and then cut the the board just to match this profile and then stuck it on. So now, I'll put this down the gap there. Get it in as far as I can. And then hopefully, we'll be able to get the foam coming out and around. Start to see it coming near the top. A little bit more. Point that slightly more upwards. I'll go down. I can leave that to expand there. Just drawing it out slowly so that the foam will still flow in. Okay, and then now I'll come along this, this edge. Trying to point the nozzle down the back. So I will tackle this one now. I've already put some masking tape on the carpet. I'll cover that with my sheet. So we're okay there. And I've only took out the filler to here. But it is cracked and crazed. So some of the foam may come out. Hence the tape. Once the foam is cured, then I'm going to use my old filling blade, cut it back, and then give it a good sand down, ready for a coat of the old bin primer. This is all cleaned up now and sanded. And if we take a look at this before I apply the primer, it's a furry and soft. I could fill over this now, but I'm going to prime it first.
I'll let this dry and I will take a quick look at it. The Zinsa bin primer is dry now and just the difference is it's more solid. That'll be easier to smooth down now. Sand. I've mixed up the polyfiller. This is quite a thick heavy mix for the first fill. Start by filling this one on the face. And then we'll get some in and then we'll come along for a second fill. I can add any texture that I need to there on the next fill. I've got a damp cloth, so I'll just go around the outer of this. Just take a little bit off there. Leave that for now, and then, like I say, damp cloth, and we just take that off the outer there. Don't need that. And just keep filling the rest of it. That's the first fill in. While I'm here. I'll give that a second fill when I do the rest. Second fill is now in. I've added a bit of texture and just smoothed it down with a bit of sandpaper. I'm now ready for priming. Just prime the top edge of the skirting board and only a few millimetre on the wall. can now prime over this filler and then any more I need to do I can mix hard stop so that's a bit of diluted paint into me filler and we touch up but I think that'll be all right there so the next time we see this it'll be finished 